everyone this is big les this is a waste of popcorn and movie review and i'm going to do something a little different today it is gangster music gangster rap and gangster films remember i was 18 when colors came out with the crips and the bloods and sean penn and i was around when boys in the hood South Central, Menace to Society, these films. I was also around in 1989 when Jim Brown, ex-football player, black legend, was in a movie called Crack House. And to me, that was the best one out of all of those films. But the thing is, the depiction of two white boys pulling up in a police car. <laughs> and these black gangsters, they carry 12 gauge sawed offs, tech nines, are running. They take off running from the police. You got the whole ghetto, 250 million square feet of ghetto, and the gangsters will shoot each other in a shootout like 100 rifles. Jim Brown pawn, pun of it. And they would turn around and run from two rookie cops. Why? I gotta go Ricardo Montalban on this. Why? Why? It's ridiculous. There has been, I've lived in, who? I've lived in some of the meanest streets in in the United States, and I'm from one of the meanest streets in the United States, uh, Saginaw, Michigan, born and raised, on that side of town that they talk about the most, which was the most violent city in America for, like, I don't know how many times, three, four times. Uh, Detroit, Chicago, Washington, D.C., all the hot spots, all the fun vacation spots. Lived there, worked there, been there, ate there, slept there. Walked the streets there. Uh, when something went down, the police didn't come over there. Uh, at my apartment in Atlanta, uh, it was a crackhead who um, expired on my front porch. He cracked out on my front porch. He was dead, this fat fuck. And I had called the police department at around 5 a.m. They didn't show up until 7.30, and the police station was, I don't know, four or five blocks away, the mini police station. When they did show up, I, I came to the front door, and I said, he's right here. And the police d still didn't get out of his car. He got on the megaphone on the, in his car and said, just stay where you are, sir. Get back into your apartment. Like it was some kind of zombie outbreak. Man, will you come get this corpse off my porch so I can go to work? You know. What I'm saying is, it's a lie. That that propaganda and the media hype machine on television and in film, it's a lie. The police do not have the guts to come outside and take care of stuff. If they, they're going to call about 35 people for backup because they in the hood. This is the hood. They took the neighbor out. It's hood. This is the hood. The hood is where ice cream trucks don't, don't come. Nobody sells ice cream in the hood. Pizza deliveries don't come in the hood. I would love to see Walmart deliver my groceries. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Hub Grub come in the hood. That shit don't happen over here. Are you nuts? <laughs> this is part one of a look at uh, gangster movies and music. Uh, I can only do uh, so many minutes. I'll be right back with part two.